Hey everyone, what I have here is the Sony X1000V action camera. I bought this second hand last week and yeah, it's in pretty good condition. Now this action camera is about three years old or so and it came with this lens protector and the product name for that is the AKA HLP1 and this will fit many of the older Sony action cameras. They've actually changed the design now, so for my other Sony action camera, I need to use this one. But I want to have a closer look at this one because in that video, I really didn't focus on this too much. I tried to put it on, but I didn't really uh, do so well. It's a very simple uh, protector. It's got a little lock mechanism at the top. But what I will say is that the lock mechanism doesn't really seem to do much. I don't know if this is this, just this one. It may be because this has been used and it's second hand. Um, but it doesn't seem to keep it on, you know, any better than you would expect. Um, so, yeah, it clicks on like that. You just push it in and it clicks on. It, it, the thing is, even without the lock mechanism, this is quite secure. You'd actually have to physically pull it off uh, to get it off. So, yeah, it, 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 it stays on basically. But really the whole point of this is to address one of the limitations of the Sony 4K action cameras, or all the Sony action cameras, even the older 1080p ones. These Sony um, these Sony action cameras are very good. You can see it's got a tripod thread there. Um, it's also, if I get this open, where did I get it open there? Um, there you go. It's also got a microphone port at the bottom and you don't get those in GoPros not built into the device anyway. But one of the limitations of this is this, the lens. That is the actual lens. And I had one of the, the, one of the first Sony action cameras a few years ago, and when it was sent back to me, this was cracked inside. Now, the problem with the way that Sony set up their camcorders is that these things are attached to a whole lens block. You can't just replace this sensor. If this breaks in any way, then you have to replace the whole lens block. And at the time when I tried to replace this, Sony quoted me a price that was more expensive than the action camera itself, which is ridiculous. So that is a design limitation in my eyes. It's, it's a flaw in my eyes. This excels at audio. The built-in stereo microphones are fantastic. It's got that external mic port. It's got the built-in tripod uh, thread as well, but no device is perfect. And Although this is designed as an action camera, it really should be used with something like this. This lens, uh, this lens protector exists because people didn't want to put it in this big ugly housing all the time. But you need to protect that lens. That lens is exposed. Now, in contrast um, with something like the GoPro Hero Black 7, if I can get this out, I really should have done that before. Um, with the GoPro's the lens is actually protected there. It's actually underneath. So if you had to drop this, and remember this is an action camera, if you had to drop this, you would damage this top part, but that can be replaced. And if the lens does have to be replaced, it's relatively cheap, whereas Sony charge an arm and a leg. So, you know, all these action cameras, they all have strengths and weaknesses. I love the fact this has got a tripod thread at the bottom. I love the fact you've got that external mic port built in and you don't have to buy this big ugly microphone adapter like you do for the GoPro. But where the GoPro has got it right is the way that it protects the lens. If you drop this, that isn't the end of the world. If you drop this, it's going to be very, very expensive and it's going to be a pain ordering directly from Sony because it isn't easy to actually buy the lens block. There's not many places that sell it. And that is why this sexy little camcorder needs to put this uh, lens protector on at all times. This is how I'm going to have this most of the time so that if this does fall, the lens is uh, is not going to be damaged. It's a pain. It changes it from being a, you know, a sexy little action camera to a kind of weird looking thing. Um, but it's still better than putting it in the big massive under uh, you know water resistant underwater housing thing which is just overkill and um, this is necessary so if you're buying any sony action camera you're going to have to buy one of these as i said this is the sony aka hlp1 and the locking mechanism there doesn't seem to be working for me but it's maybe hard to show in the camera but basically when you lock it there's a little lever down the bottom and it's just pushing it in and out and i think that's just worn over time so I can't say with conviction that this is the case with 
the lens protector if it was brand new. But it's, it's not a major complaint because this, even without it being locked, it, it does stay on. You, you do have to, you know, physically pull it off. So if, if you... Um, if you drop this and this was on it, it would protect the lens, which is what you want because you can take some damage around here, scrapes and all that, but if the lens is broken, you're going to have to spend some money. So thanks for watching, guys. I thought I would give you guys a quick look at that um, and a quick comparison between how GoPro handles it and how Sony handles it. This is an area where Sony has to step up their game and hopefully in the next generation of action cameras, they, you know, they maybe change the design a little bit because I think this is where GoPro have got it right. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll speak to you all in the next one. Take care.